Hey, what's up? It's Sean Swan. We're back for another episode here, and we're still working out. Thanks so much for hanging with me. Um, I got sick last week. I got the flu, and um, it really uh, slowed everything down a little bit, but we're back on point, and we're finally hitting this leg workout. And that's what today's all about. We're going to be doing legs, and um, also getting uh, some stretches in, which is mandatory to do before and after, and um, we will go ahead and focus on... Um, just a light, just some stimulation of um, some calisthenics, which would be a couple push-ups and, and such. <sighs> All right, so here we go. We're gonna start off with some backwards butterflies because this is like the backbone. We're gonna do this all the time because uh, the chest muscles are always tight and we, we always wanna be negating that since we're always all day doing something here. So we're gonna just go ahead and get this on and let's break it. Here we go. One. Four, five, looking good, stomach tight, six, pull the belly button in, seven, activate that core, eight, it's just good habit, you want to hold that belly button in, in everything that you do, ten, oh yeah, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whoo, wait, gotta love it, gotta love it. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and do those back hand claps. One, two, three, oh my gosh, right after the four, those are just so rough. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll do fifteen. Here we go. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Ooh, wee. Oh man, that was really good. Here we go, we're gonna bring both legs together. And we're just gonna go ahead and just go on down and do some toe, toe touches. So we're just gonna take it on down. One. What I like to do is I like to keep my knees slightly bent. Just a little bit. And then stomach tight. And we're gonna go ahead and take it on down little by little. Bam, do what's comfortable for you. A lot of people can't make it that far, you're gonna get this far, you're gonna get this far, you're gonna get this far. That's completely cool. We wanna just go to what's comfortable for you and just for you to feel the stretch. So, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. There we go, here we go, here goes number two. Six, looking good, stomach tight, good breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh yeah, all right, look at that, got those done. Mission accomplished on that note, all right. We'll go ahead and do um, the crossover hamstring stretch. Take it on across, take it on down. One. Let's go take five really good deep breaths. 
two, three, four, five. Ooh, we nice. We're gonna switch on over to the next leg. Take another cross. exercise today but preferably before you do do these stretches we do want to take time to do the foam roller and uh, definitely check out the foam rolling video because we go over doing the leg exercises um, the leg foam roller exercises in that video so definitely check that out but um, normally we want to go ahead and foam roll first after we foam roll then we want to go ahead and do these stretches which are today we're doing the leg day stretches and after we do the leg day stretches, then we start the, the leg exercise, um, the leg exercises, should I say. All right, so we got that knocked out. Foam roller is mandatory. You gotta get it in your life, as well as a ball is mandatory. You gotta get it in your life, seriously. All right, so we knocked that out right there. We're gonna go ahead and switch um, over to the floor stretches and let's start it from there. All right, so let's go ahead and take it on out. We're gonna bring the legs on out. Ooh, I got laid too many pads on right now. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and take it on down, little by little. Take those nice, good, deep breaths. We'll just take five, two, three, four, Five. Right, shake it up a little bit. Go ahead and bring it on over to the next leg. Take those good five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's take it over to the next leg. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're not gonna stop it out. Since we're here, we're gonna do a groin stretch. Oh my gosh, that's just so tight. <laughs> Take it here. More like three, four pair, pairs of pants because it gets kind of cold sometimes. Here we go. We're going to take it here. And we're going to take the elbows. And we're going to just kind of push down at, at the knees a little bit to help get more of that groin stretch as we're bringing our chest forward. Get what you can. Sometimes your belly will block you, so it'll be harder to get this stretch. But just go ahead and just do the motions and, get, and make sure to breathe in and breathe out. Because breathing is so important. Breathing allows these uh, muscles in your muscles to relax, basically, and that's what we're trying to do. One more good deep breath. Ooh, push. I'm, I'm tight here. This is definitely one of my tighter areas. Growing stretch, especially for for males. This is definitely a problem area. All right. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. All right, so we got that knocked out. And we're going to go ahead and hop into the hip flexor stretch because that should always be done first. So we're going to take it. We're going to go ahead and go in and out. And then go ahead and get a solid 20 plus five good breaths for a hold. So let's go ahead and take it. One. Making sure. Let's see it this way. I'm going to take one foot here, one foot back. All the weight going down towards the middle of your foot here. And then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and bring this knee forward. As you notice, this knee is never passing the tippy toe right here, your big toe. 
knees, never past your toes. I can go as far forward as I want right there. Get all that maximum stretch right here. For my knees never passing this toe, it's not going all over, which would be bad for the knee. We're trying to protect the knee. And let's continue. Second, that five breath hold, 20. pants right now. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, almost done, 17, breath hold. of the static stretch and the active stretch. The active stretch being the moving stretch, the static stretch being the stretch where you're just gonna hold and you're gonna be still. And the reason why it's so important is that um, you don't wanna do too many um, static stretches, holding really long stretches where you're holding more than, more than 30 seconds, um, like those minute, three minute stretches. Those are really better to be done after the workout to really stretch out. If you're gonna do those stretches beforehand, before your workout, you have a chance to kind of just stretch your muscles out to where they're not going to be as responsive and as active as you might want them during the workout. So it's best to just get that warm up and not overstretch before your workout. And um, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So we knocked those stretches out right there. Let's go ahead and do my most hated stretch right here. I'm going to see how well this is going to work these tight pads on. We're going we to get it. <laughs> so we're going to take it, glute stretch. We're going to stretch the butt. We're going to go ahead and come straight down here. Um, straight down, right here in the middle of the cap. And we're gonna go ahead and come forward. Oh my gosh, it's tight, it's tight, it's tight. Take some good deep breaths. Oh wow, this is gonna be the first real leg workout and for real. And we're gonna take it light, we ain't going hard. I ain't trying to be paralyzed and I'm not trying to have you paralyzed. We're just gonna just get enough to, to make this happen so we can build upon this. Good deep breathing. Two big breaths, let's go three. 
You notice with every deep breath I take, I can go a little bit closer because it's allowing that muscle to relax. I'm getting oxygen to those muscles. That's six. We're not gonna go too hard yet, but we will be getting way more intense tonight. This is just the beginning. This is just for us to just start off and get into the, to get things going because boy, it does it does amp up. But in due time, we want to do everything safely and effectively. And like I said, I do not like injuries. Next side, here we go. Let's go ahead and take it on down. That's two deep breaths. Wow, I love it. And of course, I'm supposed to be trying to come towards this area right here. Oh my gosh, this is torture. work they take so much of a beating so you just gotta knock this out these stretches are so important you gotta do these stretches the stretches is what this channel is about if you get all the workouts if you ain't doing this stretch stuff just stop because you're not gonna get the results that you want you're not gonna see the definition you want the stretching allows you to get more definition and what they call tone you know out of your muscles so you definitely want to be doing these stretches I cannot express how important it is <coughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and take it on up. Bring this knee up, up as much as we can. We're taking this knee so we're back. And I'm going to grab at the ankle, not the tip of the foot. I'm just going to just hold right now. I'm very tight. So it's going to be hard for me to get nice and flat like I want to. Keeping this leg inside. Don't let it flare up like mine probably is. If it flares up at the beginning, it's completely all right. This is beginner. So the form is not going to be perfect, but we'll start picking on that form um, as we start getting deeper into it. A lot more. Right now, I'm bringing this knee up right here to help create a uh, distance between this knee and this knee, which allows me to get more of the stretch. Uh, it's a more natural stretch. This is the best quad stretch that you could possibly do right here. This is the future. I'm counting this right here. As TD breath, I've been talking and I've been needing that stretch all the time. Three, super tight. You can kind of go a little bit more on your quads just because they are so tight. Like this is the muscle to stretch for real. I'll do one more good deep breaths or stick solid. Ooh, wait. Now yeah, it was probably more like 10 deep breaths with all the extra talking and stuff I was doing at the beginning. Alright, let's go ahead and take it on. Once again, take it down, get this knee up. I'm gonna try to grab oh, grab that ankle. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sometimes you don't even have to hold. Like right now, my, I got my leg wedged in on the ground, so I'm really getting some good separation here. I can feel the tightness in my muscles. I can feel the stretch. So I want to continue to just go ahead and get that. The more flexible you get, the more easy it will be easier for you to grab your at your your ankle and just pull it and like for a lot of women it's going to be easier because they're more flexible but even if you're a woman and, and it's tough for you it's completely normal because these are the muscles that we are just pounding every day walking upstairs walking around getting up sitting down moving you're working these quads quadriceps 
Whew, wait. Let's go ahead and just get four more good deep breaths. I've been talking and I've been breathing. But a, a total of, you know, when you're doing this, you usually want to get a solid 10. These quads are usually no joke. You want to get the solid 10 good deep breaths on these quads. Here you go. Three more good deep breaths. Keep the separation. I like using my feet to crawl on the floor to kind of inch myself up to, to create that separation. I, I do the same as well with the other foot. Sometimes just so I don't have to hold my leg, I can just kind of just prompt them in that place. All right, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. And, all right, and let's go ahead and take it on back. We'll bring the arms up, knee up, bring it on over. This is so necessary. We love this stretch because it is so needed. Whew. Take five really good deep breaths. We're trying to really focus on keeping this back shoulder right here on the ground and planting. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Oh, I love it, 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 I love it. Let's hit that next side. Bring it on up, pass it over. That is one. Two. Three. Four. this leg workout let's see what we got here stretches in real quick so we're gonna go ahead and take it you know how we do let me give you that dip that that demo right here get that one foot all the way up just like so once it's up oh my god it's so necessary don't you skip those calves for real I was gonna take it forward a little by little Yeah, 
stretch is. Woo, 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 woo. All right, now let's go ahead and hit this uh, workout. All right, well, what's up, peeps, what's up? So we're gonna go ahead and start with the ball squat. Ball squat's very important because it's gonna help you um, develop better form, really good form, the right form for when you're doing a squat. And right here, I have some weight. This is about, I wanna say 25 pounds per, about 25 pounds right now. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get a couple sets of 12, for just for starters. We're gonna take our leg short length apart. And realistically, before you gather, before you even touch the weight, before you even put your hands on the weight, you want to make sure that you find that center. So we're going to make sure you get on the ball. Hands to the side, take it as far forward as you can, take it as far back as you can, find that center. Once you find that center, that stomach is tight, you're holding that in. Now you're in the best position to be able to take any type of load onto your body now that you have found your center. So let's go ahead and grab this weight now. All right, stomach tight. Let's, let's get this 12 in. Here we go. Take it on down. Oh my gosh, murder! <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. Take it back down. Two. Oh my gosh. Three. Make sure you keep your stomach tight and your chest up all the way through the exercise. Or I'm gonna bring my legs out a little bit more so I can utilize to keep my back against this ball. Here it is, here it is. Five, oh my gosh. <laughs> Six. Seven. Hooey. Thank you for coming for the leg workout. That's it for beginners. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Um, yeah, that set of 12 is gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Um, I can already feel my legs just getting super tight, but I'm not gonna quit there. I'm, I'm gonna push myself a little bit more. Um, what I like to do in between sets, while we're letting those, reds, those legs rest, we're gonna go ahead and just get a solid set of push-ups in because push-ups are a staple. I know it's leg day. But you're gonna at least be getting a solid set of push-ups in, just one set of push-ups in, even on leg day, just to balance it out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just start off with the regular push-up right here. And uh, this ball out of the way. Come on, ball, you just, you just all up in my space ball. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and take it. And I should probably do it sideways so you can see the form. Right here. Oh my god, my fucking nurse is burning. All right, here we go, here we go, dude, dude, dude. Stomach tight. Ready to go ahead and take it on down. Control it. One, that's how we do push-ups. No rush. Keep that back nice and straight, stomach tight. I really want that chin to touch the ground. Two. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my ass is burning up. I have not done leg workout like in, and I just added, I just did that weight. That weight was probably a little bit too heavy for me. I probably could've went 12, 12.5, let's keep it real. So, oh gosh. Definitely gonna have to do some glute stretches in order to counteract that. When you start feeling those muscles kind of cramping up the way they are, you definitely need some more stretches in to balance it out. So I'm gonna have to do that. But I'm gonna show you five more push-ups right here from this angle so you can see the form. Stomach tight. We got about shorter, shorter width apart right here. Here we go. Stomach tight. Back straight. stretch again because my butt is flaring up right now and I do not want to get booty booty spasms when I'm sleeping <sighs> take it on four <sighs> two <sighs> get another glute stretch in stretch that should definitely help I feel the glutes coming down my, my butt cheeks feel like they were just like clamping up they're like what you about to do some squats what here we go so we're gonna stretch this glute out Whew. and literally just one set of those for ultra beginners is gonna be enough I naturally want to go jump into my three sets of 12 of those. Oh, I think I'm gonna, I think I might just have to skip that and just jump on to the next exercises. Good deep breaths, get those glutes in. You know what I'll do? I will do another set without weights though. joke. All right. Got to be kind of intimidated to do some more squats right now. All right, let's go ahead and switch it to the squats. All right. Yikes. <laughs> let's go ahead and take it. We're going to do the next set of these squats. No weights. I'm good with those weights right now because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be hurting. We're going to be hurting. <laughs> Workout, leg shoulder apart, stomach tight. Let's go ahead and take it all down. One, when you push, you're gonna make sure you push from the heels of your feet, mid foot, heels of your feet. We don't get no tippy toes action in this push. Go 
go for the scissor kicks. So we're gonna take the arms right, arms right behind your back, stomach tight. Bring it right back. One. Trying to keep your legs straight. Six, going up all the way through. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh wee. Twelve secret cakes in the, in the house. All right, knock those out right there. squats we did with the weight on the next two sets we're gonna do without lunch your width apart stomach tight stick your butt back first then bend your knees is the trick one butt back first stomach tight then bend your knees two Since we knocked that out, we're gonna go ahead and do a set of hip extensions. Very important, very important exercise. This is the golden exercise right here. Because it gives nuts of love, as it should. But guess what? It's gonna get tons of love over here in Swan Studios. Because we'll be using it all day. Ooh, we got winded, right? Here we go. on the ground, heels on the ground, stomach tight. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Gosh, these balls just have a mind of their own, I swear. Freaking alive, man. Freaking alive. All right, cool, cool. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and push the heels to our feet and break it. One. Really pushing up, squeezing those glutes. Push through the heels and the feet. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Here we go. Twelve. 12, 10 seconds out, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goody, good goodness. So, so we got those out, we're gonna take it. And we're gonna go ahead and do an abdominal crunch because we always gonna get a little bit of abdominal. We're gonna have some abs, all right? Abs is but my little name, Sean, Abs Swan. <laughs> It's just one day, I'm just kidding. But let's go ahead and do this, here we go. We're gonna get a solid, solid, solid set of 12 crunches. Chin up. One. Two. We're taking your eyes straight to the ceiling. Three. Chin is staying straight up. Four. It's like you're trying to pull your chin up. Five. Going straight up. Oh, 
all these smack rolls. Oh, here we go. We're gonna take it, hip extension once again. Let's bring it. Get dishes up here. <laughs> All right, we knocked that out. And let's go ahead and do our next set. Last set of crunches right here. We'll take it down, down. One, two, three. Get up. I gotta continue this. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we knocked that out right there. And what I want to go ahead and do is get a little bit of the hamstring in. This this exercise is it's really hard to get hamstrings, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's ways. But when you uh, when, when you're doing beginners, you really just gotta settle with squats. But we're gonna try something a little bit more advanced to begin right here. And let's just Give me all that you got. So we'll go ahead and take this bad boy. I'll do it this way. I'm gonna put our feet on the ball. And we're gonna just go ahead and start off by doing a, a roll. So we're gonna dig the heels into the ball. Both hands, palms on the floor. We're gonna go ahead and just one, two, three, four, five. All right, let me switch positions so you can get a different angle. So I 
gonna get five quick ones. We're gonna one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's game. That's game. Holy smackerel. All right, I feel that all in my calves. My body is just completely like saying, what the heck are you doing, bro? All right, so we knock those up for the calves. And um, I'm gonna be really honest with you, that hamstring stretch, if you're doing it, it's definitely advanced. If you wanna go ahead and do uh, two more sets of the hamstring stretch, of the hamstring roll on the ball, highly suggest it. But I'm gonna be keep it real for today, the first leg workout. Um, that we've been doing all year. We're pretty good right now, we're pretty good. As a matter of fact, we are good, I'm gonna call it. So, what we've done so far is two sets of squats, three sets of squats, two sets without any weight, one set with weight. We did our scissor kicks right here. We did two sets of 12 of those, sitting down. We did one set of the hamstrings on the ball with the heels going in and curling. That's really intense. Um, like I said, it's really more beginner. We did two sets of crunches for the abdominals and the core, and we did one solid set of push-ups for the stimulation. Because I like to do push-ups every day. I like to do crunches and uh, abdominal exercises every day, core, every day. And um, by us doing that, it, uh, it's definitely gonna help build us as a whole and develop the the chiseled hour shape, you know, idea, you know, um, body that we're, we're looking for. And, and our sh hourglass shape isn't, you know, for everybody. It's just a certain preference. Everybody has different genetics. Everybody has different builds. Everybody's gonna look their own special way. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the best that we can out of you. We're trying to take your genetics and we're trying to get the best that we can that your genetic makeup will allow us to make of you. So. Yeah, keep it up, you guys are doing great. Um, what we're gonna go ahead and do though, we're gonna go ahead and just take it on down and do a light hamstring stretch. I'm gonna throw all that, knees slightly bent, taking it down little by little. I like to just keep the knees bent. We're not gonna keep the legs locked while doing a hamstring stretch, or rather just have the knees slightly bent, going straight down. It's shown that you actually get more out of it. <sighs> by stretching like so. Ooh, wait. Let's go ahead and take it on down. Take it down the middle. So necessary. And that was it. Now, what I really need that those hamstrings are super tight um, from doing the heels on the ball and just doing the squats in general. My, my body's like, yo, 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 yo. You have not been doing those squats for a cool little minute, bro. All right, here we go. Take it out to the next side. Good deep breaths. Five good deep breaths on that leg. Let's go switch to this this leg over here. This one. Two. This three. This four. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and get back. That growing stretch once again. Mm. Right here. Go ahead and hit 
hit that hip flexor stretch. We're just gonna hold it. Five good deep breaths. Hold on to something if you have a stick, or you can hold on to the wall if you want to, or you can hold on to anything like this. I always just like to use no hands for balance and stability. I bent the knee now, so we're gonna stretch that lower calf. stretch. Five more, five, five deep breaths of these. And do these stretches as necessary. You want to make sure to do the stretches as necessary. So you feel the area is tight, like oh, my butt feels really tight right now. <laughs> we can do a little extra glute stretch. Oh my gosh, lovely. by little. Breathing is super important. Stretch laying down. Uh, very important stretch, mandatory stretch. Quads. 
So I pull my this leg up to help increase the distance for more stretch. Two more good deep breaths. Good solid five. That's what I'm talking about. Peach, what's up? We did it today. Congratulations, we made it to the end of the workout. Today was leg day. Um, tomorrow we're gonna be focusing on chest and back. We've already done the arms. Today is leg. Next will be chest and back. And then we're about to go start going through that cycle. And then I'll start implementing and bringing in different uh, resistances, such as resistance bands. Um, of course, there's cable resistance. There's uh, your own free weight body. There's your own body weight resistance as well as free weights and dumbbell resistance so we're going to be going through all the different types of resistances but as of far as it goes we're still beginner level <laughs> we have not even made it out the the first two weeks of workouts and um uh, we're definitely going to do that uh i really appreciate you watching if you can share this video to any friends or family who you feel are you know trying to knock out that new year's resolution and try to take it to the next level because this is 100 percent guaranteed results all we got to do is just be consistent show up watch the videos learn the process so i'm going to show you the process of what a trainer would do this is my training workout and we're going to be getting better and better and better and it's going to be getting more intense and it's going to be getting tougher we're going to go through every single range and every single level all while making sure not to get injured because if you get injured that's it you're, you're done you have to take time out we're not going to do that so um definitely like i said like subscribe hit the bell notification check out the patreon page i'm building it up right now what we're going to be doing on patreon is i'm going to be showing you exactly what i'm eating you know um pretty much after these workouts before these workouts throughout the day and there's going to be high calorie days it's going to be low calorie days uh and there's going to probably be some days where i probably could have eaten better but we're going to keep it real and we're going to burn these calories and we're going to get these results and i want to really focus on getting as pure and clean as possible um as far as the food and i, I look forward to you know uh, my skin clearing up and just a lot of things just getting just, just skin getting healthier and just getting that glow i i could tell when people are working out consistently and when they're on their thing and they're eating right because you have a certain glow because the food that's going in your body is healthy you're sweating all the time you know which is helping to pretty much flush the toilet if you're not sweating you, you're those toxins are literally living inside of your body and we don't want those toxins inside of our bodies we want to let them out we want to expel them out as much as we possibly can and that's why it's very important to drink water that's why it's very important to sweat we got to sweat all this stuff being trapped in your body definitely leads to things like cancer and and, and, and elements like that so we, we really want to really push it and we want to make sure that 2022 is going to be the last new year's resolution to get in shape because from here on out we are in shape you know we are going to be doing it so thank you so much once again for, for if you really made it this far and you're, you're and you're right here and you're, and you're hanging it out with me right now i really appreciate you and um uh, get ready because uh we got a lot more videos coming you guys have a good night it's super late right now for me i'm probably gonna go ahead and get a protein drink in right now that's what i would suggest is uh to get a protein drink in even if you just gotta just get the protein powder and and throw it in the cup and shake it up and drink it go for it i preferably like plant-based proteins i'm over the way i've done all the way stuff back in the day and it just makes you super gaseous and just fart all day and it's just not even fun i mean the plant protein makes you fart too but not like that way though and it's it's lactose i'm i'm, I'm pretty much lactose intolerant and I, I try to eat as vegan as i possibly can it's what allowed me to get to where i'm at right now um like i said in september just a little bit a couple months ago i weighed 285 pounds and i was like yo i was having problems sleeping uh problems breathing it was just like i felt really fat you know what i mean and it wasn't until I started eating vegan food that that allowed me to lose literally 45 pounds without working out. I haven't even touched no weights. As you can see, this is the current workout that I am at right now. And um, so it was, I lost all that just by just, you know, just changing the, the foods, getting all the colors, the all the rainbows in the body again, getting that multivitamin. I can't express how important it is to get a multivitamin. 
Make sure you're getting that multivitamin. Make sure that you're drinking water consistently uh, and so that you always have, that you're always flushing yourself out as well as um, making sure to get good sleep. You gotta at least be getting at least minimal six hours of sleep, optimal eight hours, you know, especially when you're working out this hard and you're trying to make gains. Uh, it can't be done without sleep because when you are sleeping, that is actually when your body is rebuilding from all this breaking down that we're doing in this workout. So, there I go, I'll talk about this stuff all day, baby. <laughs> so you guys have a good one, take it easy, and uh, sleep tight, have a good night, later.